Pick your poison. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Blake Damon here and today I am playing support at Oasis. Oh, yeah. We have a chaser. How many do Can I get heals please buddy? Oh, oh, I got you. Yeah. The objective is I don't know what I'm doing here. This is not my area of expertise. Where is Ash? Yeah, I actually picked Mercy because I wanted to support the Ash. I just don't know where she is. I think she did get eliminated by the Doomfist earlier, but she should be back by now. Oh, there she is. Yep, I'm okay. I was like hiding. No, she's actually died. Just died. It looks like I'm supporting the D.Va a lot, and this is probably the wrong hero to support D.Va with. Mercy doesn't do too well in the front lines. She usually gets attacked if seen by the enemy team. That doesn't seem to be happening in this game for some reason, which could be one of the contributing factors as to why we're winning this round. So I guess my point is that if you see a Mercy or any kind of support, shoot them in the face. <laughs> I'm gonna die soon. Oh, let me. No! Am I off? Yeah, I think what won them that team fight was the Sombra's pick on our Anna. Without that extra support to heal our teammates, it makes it very difficult for the remaining support to do all the healing themselves, especially if they're trying very hard not to get eliminated themselves. This is why going after the sports really helps with winning team fights. And you don't necessarily have to eliminate them either, it's just enough to sometimes distract them and take them away from the fight. If they can stop supporting their tank or their teammates for three seconds, it might be enough to win the team fight. Thank you. You want to get checking in. Activating self destruct sequence. How's my KD? Oh. Thanks for that all. Oh, that was straight. It's so pretty. Stand on under it. Nice. Nice. I think I recorded this game sometime around October and I was hoping to see that I had changed to a different support because it did look like I was supporting the D.Va a little too much. But as you can see, I, I hadn't changed at all. I was guessing my thought process at the time was that I was going to continue supporting the Ash and boosting her, even though I barely did in the first round. But at the moment, it does seem to be working, even though technically it really shouldn't. I should be getting shot in the head every time I go anywhere near D.Va, but I'm not. So I guess I'm gonna keep doing this until I get too harassed. But until then, I'm gonna continue supporting the D.Va the same way I have been. Anyway, I guess my point is is if you see an enemy support, try and go after them. I think I've replayed this section of the game like four times now. I'm trying to figure out why we won that team fight. I mean, we were missing an extra support. Our D.Va got demacked. 
And yet we somehow managed to eliminate the Reinhardt and then capture the point right after. I have a feeling that the Ash was keeping the supports distracted, which I think prevented them from pushing in with their tank. And without their support, the tank was easily eliminated by a DMACT Diva and a Tracer. So this is a prime example of why you should definitely go for the supports. Just distract them the same way this Ash did. Ah! I got you. I honestly thought we were going to lose that team fight. We had no tank. One of our DPS had been eliminated early. And then the other one freshly eliminated. And it was just me and Anna on point. But Bob came and saved the day. He was able to both keep the point and also create space, which the Anna and Ash used to pick off the enemy team on point. So yeah, that was an amazing play by the Bob. And the Ash too, I guess. You're the only one you want. <laughs> you know, if the Sojourn hadn't eliminated me just then, I think I would have named this video Only Died Once or something. Anyway, that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and share and subscribe if you haven't already.